All right, everyone, welcome back for another wonderful day here. It's been a very long time since I've done a mail day video. In fact, some of these packages here are from early March, and I was going to actually do a mail day video at the end of this week, and then I realized, well, we only have one more week left in April, so I didn't do a mail day video for all of March, and I guess we're kind of rounding it out April here. It's shocking how quick this month is going, but uh, yeah, it's been very, very busy over the last month and a half, so we're jumping here into mail day, so let's make it a fun one. If you guys want to send anything, my P.O. Box information is in the description below, as always. All you have to do is copy and paste it, but thank you to everyone out there who sent packages. I do also have about six more packages down there. Uh, that will be for the next mail day video. Hopefully, if I can get my act together, it'll be in about a week to maybe two weeks. Um, so if you sent something recently or something within like the last month or so, it's over there if you don't see it in today's mail day. So let's jump into it. First, we'll start off with some letters here. We have one here from Catherine Y out of Kemp, Texas. Thank you for this wonderful package or letter, I should say. Taco Stacks. Thank you for mentioning my YouTube channel. I saw your previous video from a while back that you do license plates. Here's too many plates I found and thought of you sincerely. Catherine Y. So thank you, Catherine Y, for this. Greatly appreciate this. You included two mini license plates. So yes, I do jump around YouTube quite a bit, um, and I check out a bunch of different YouTube channels, which I think is a beautiful thing about YouTube, is that there's just such a diversity of things out there. But thank you for this wonderful gift. We do have two mini license plates. Here we have one from Idaho, <laughs> the famous potatoes. And then we have one here from Delaware isn't too far away. Uh, these mini license plates, I don't know what the heck they are though. They're just, I mean, obviously they're mini license plates, but they don't look like the ones that you get like at a souvenir shop and they aren't like motorcycle plates. So very interesting. This one's printed and this one's kind of embossed. But Catherine, thank you for the wonderful gift. Thank you for the wonderful license plates. And um, here's to the future success of your YouTube channel. Greatly appreciate. We have one here from Monica and Teresa in Centerville, Iowa. So thank you for this. And this one on the back said happy birthday. That's great. So Monica and Teresa, thank you for that. Look at this wonderful, oh, something's popping out. Wonderful card. Two golden fluffers on there. We have one uh, creature down here as well. Oh. It's quite the abundance of items in this one. Lucky us having a friend like you to share so many of life's adventures. Very nice. There might be a letter in here also. Thank you. It says thank you on it. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa. Wow. Well, thank you, too. It says Teresa and Monica in Iowa. Hello, Taco Stacks and Salsa. This note is to say sorry we missed your birthday and Christmas. Also, just to say thank you for being a bright, tall light in our day. Thank you, plus Salsa, too. Teresa and Monica in Iowa. P.S. Have a great spring. Well, you two, thank you. Thank you for a wonderful letter. Thank you for the wonderful Christmas wishes as well as birthday wishes. Wow. And you two included money, $60 in cash, which I have to say, no one out there has to send any money. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. But uh, you do not have to send money. Thank you, Monica and Teresa, for that as well as two Dunkin Donuts gift cards for $15 a piece. So now I'm gonna have iced coffee in the morning. Thank you, you two. Hopefully everything is going in Iowa is going great for you two. Thank you so much for the wonderful birthday and Christmas gifts. Uh, before you know it, do my birthday again. Every single year, it's our birthdays. It's gonna be here shortly. And uh, yeah, happy spring to you two. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. Before you know it, it'll also be Christmas again. But. Thank you so much. Thank you as well for the money. Hopefully all, all is going well. And thanks again from Taco Stacks. Greatly appreciate it. All right. So as always, the wonderful subscribers of YouTube, I can't thank you guys and girls enough for all the wonderful support over the past couple of years. Uh, you guys and girls have really rocked it. Uh, we'll jump in here into the package. I do have one package up there. Um, but like I said, thank you to everyone out there for the wonderful letters, the wonderful packages, everyone out there. This one is from Bob, and I know Bob didn't want the letter written on camera, um, but I'd love to share you guys some awesome gifts here. So we have a shot glass, it looks like. Number one New York fan. All right, it looks like a couple pieces of glassware. We have a little New York Giants super fan shot glass. 
And then we have one last one, New York team, New York. And also included in here, oh, maybe you are a sports car collector, Bob. Check out this patch. It's been a while since I got some sports cards. Um, it's been a while since I've even seen sports cards. I know recently sports cards have gone through the roof. Um, really cool. Here's a New York Giants. Is this Panini maybe? It is. Here we have a New York Giants dual patch. We have one that looks to be like a football as well as a jersey. So it's a dual patch relic. I enclosed the player used football and player worn material are guaranteed by Panini America. Daniel Jones, quarterback of the Giants. So he currently is the quarterback. Uh, they were hoping he was going to be the future franchise player. I don't know if he'll continue to be. He needs an offensive line. Uh, so I don't know if you follow New York sports as well, Bob, but they need an offensive line. Thank you for the wonderful Panini card. Greatly appreciate it. This is my first Daniel Jones card. I don't have a lot of football stuff. Um, and I definitely I don't think I have many relics. So thank you for the dual patch, or I guess you can say patch and football, dual insert card. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Go Giants. Hope all, all is well with you, Bob, and thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. All right, jumping over here, we have one from Carlson in Ohio. Oh, got a letter. Got a letter. Scared to put something on the ground in case, no, oh, salsa's going to smell it. Salsa's been known to take things and run off with them. She has not taken my shoes, which I thought would be a major thing in having a golden retriever would be that she takes your shoes and just runs off with them. She, however, is not a shoe person, a shoe dog. We have a wonderful letter here. Hey, Taco, here's the t-shirt I told you about. I found it at the bins on St. Patty's Day and it's been washed. Thanks for your videos, enjoy them, and give Salsa a big hug. She is a beautiful dog. Your friend, Safi, a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, and a YouTuber reviewer of movies with my son, Safi, and Marco Dish out on the movies. Well, thank you. Thank you for this wonderful package. This is the wonderful, uh, I do remember briefly, there was a comment a long time back uh, about a t-shirt. Might have been the last mail day, or it was, uh, it was a comment. But like I said, some of these packages, I haven't got to them. I apologize for that. Some of these are from early March. Uh, just been really, really busy here. Now, as I like to call it, it's content season. Where, fortunately for me, I kind of bust my butt and then uh, record eight to nine videos a week. And since I post six videos a week, they kind of overlap into fall, just naturally. And that gives me some videos for the fall into winter. So... It gets very, very busy, but we make do, and that's the only reason why I'd say that uh, I haven't get, got around to doing any mail day videos here recently. Just put that over there. I gotta see something about tacos here. Tacos it is. <laughs> it's a good shirt. Good shirt. Look at that. Bring me back some tacos. Gotta love it. In fact, what's today? Taco Tuesday? It is Taco Tuesday. So hopefully everyone out there is gonna have some tacos today. Whichever kind of tacos you guys and girls like. But thank you, Carlson, for the wonderful, wonderful t-shirt here. Apparently, there's very nice bins also in Ohio. Maybe I'll have to take a road trip out there one time and check them out. But thank you again for the wonderful gift. Hopefully, all is well with you and all your continued success on YouTube. Greatly appreciate. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful shirt. My new taco shirt. Thank you. All right, before we jump into these two packages over here, people have asked me about, uh, have asked me about the goose that lives on my, uh, my property, the white goose, and I can see him right here. He just moved kind of close. He's eating grass, so I'll gladly show you. There he is. Oh, I'm not gonna focus. I'll focus like this, maybe. All right, so we'll jump into these packages. This one's from, this one's from the squirrels. <laughs> The squirrels that live everywhere, man, they are a burden here from the warehouse to my house. Oh man, so thank you to the squirrels for this wonderful package. I see what squirrels like in here. It's a great card already. I can already tell it's going to be a great card. Oh wow, love the squirrels. <laughs> it's great. Oh there you go, you got a squirrel on the side. 
That's a great looking tree. Eating an acorn. Oh, so I guess that's an acorn tree. That is a beautiful card. Look at it. Look at the attention to detail on that card. That's great. So I do have quite the, quite the collection of just these kind of cards in general. That is a beauty. Thank you for the wonderful card, squirrels. Looks like we have all snacks in here. So we got some sunflower seeds. It's been a while since I grabbed some sunflower seeds. In fact, uh, I had one bag left from Lee Sport from last year that I just ended up throwing away because I was like, I, these, these are really out of date by now. But still have to hand to Lee Sport one of these times to get some more seeds. But thank you for the wonderful sunflower seeds. We do have sunflower kernels as well. And these guys, kind of ironically, I picked up uh, a Hershey's bar this morning, an almond Hershey bar. Uh, but we have two M&M bars, almond flavored. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful candy. Not for salsa though. And lastly, to round it out from the squirrels, two bags of M&M almonds. Thanks again for another wonderful package here. Awesome, awesome day. I have my snack pack here. Salsa will not be getting into that. She'd have a rough day if she got into that, but thank you for the wonderful seeds. I'll probably consume these within the next two hours or three hours, and I uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful care pack of all of the wonderful snacks. Hopefully none of the squirrels get into that, but thanks again. All right, this is our international plat package. This is from Judith in Canada. Oh, boy. It's amazing. Whenever I get an international package, so I've got a couple from Canada. I've kind of recognized some of the candy, but every single time I get some, I, I it's all new to me. It really is. It, it just it's amazing how much um, how much uh, different varieties there are of this stuff. Alrighty, so here we have a letter from Judith, uh, which seemed kind of personal and very long. But it appears that Judith did have quite the abundance of creatures, or animals. I call all animals creatures, but pets, definitely. Looks like we had six cats here. Or, yeah, six cats. And uh, she includes some license plates as well. So, Judith, thank you for this. I'll read this off camera. But it looks like we have two license plates, or a couple license plates. We also have a wonderful care package here. Oh, you guys can't, can't see the wonderful gifts. But we have some tennis balls. Oh, they're kind of weighted. Salsa's going to like these. Um, we also have just the mint. Mint assortments from Waterbridge. I've never had these. Butter mint, mint tofu, toffee, tofu. Best English mint, butter minto, and mint humbug. I probably pronounced those all wrong. And even better is the ingredients, I believe, are in French. That's awesome, because I know Canada is known for what, speaking French. Uh, here in America, I would never even know that because I've never been to Canada. But uh, yeah, we only really speak English here. We speak a bunch of languages, but yeah, no, French and English are like a split language in Canada. Um, one big difference I noticed, this bag weighs a lot more than what it would weigh like that here. Um, yeah, the candy goes all the way to the top. So it's sealed here and the candy goes there. Here in America, the candy will go like right here. It's like 50%, 60% air. Not the case in this bag. Holy smokes. We have quite the abundance of candy here. Looks like all chocolate. We have Nestle Turtles. We do have these Aero bars, which I've had a couple of these in the past. Uh, they're very airy, ironically. I think that's kind of why they're called Aero. Uh, they're almost like a wafer, a chocolate covered wafer, if anyone's ever had them. So we have what well, looks like white chocolate. We have peppermint. We have gold. I've never heard of that one. I don't even know what that would even taste like. This one's real milk chocolate. What the heck is gold chocolate? You guys see that? It's got like gold bubbles. Well, what, what in the world is gold chocolate? We will find out sometime. And then this looks like we have our license plates here. Ooh, there's some nice ones here. I don't think I have these either. So we have a New Brunswick. I believe I also read briefly that one of these were off your first car. 
Uh, we'll go back to the letter and see what that one. That was the DVC one. So DVC. Oh, this is nice. I still have to get ahead and work on the international wall. I will probably work on that sometime in the spring or summer. But like I said, very, very busy right now. Insanely busy uh, with content season being here. A nice vintage Ontario plate as well. Very cool. So Judith, thank you for all these wonderful plates. This one's got some weight unless there's two here. Oh, there's two here. Oh man, this is a beauty. 1946. That is vintage. And then the last plate of today. This is from 1964. New Brunswick. So Judith, thank you for the wonderful care package. Thank you for the wonderful gift as well as all the chocolate and some toys for the wonderful salsa dog. Hopefully all is well with you in Canada. And thank you again for another wonderful package. Uh, I know you've sent one in the past, so thank you again. And I love reading your comments on YouTube. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with you in Canada. And uh, thank you again. Thank you for the wonderful care pack. Thank you for the wonderful chocolate. Salsa's, uh, salsa's not going to eat the chocolate, but should enjoy these tennis balls. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. So we are here. We made it to the final package. This one is from our great friend, Jackie P. And it's a large one. It says Happy Easter on it. So I felt kind of bad opening it like, what, it's been a little bit past a week? It's been a week. A little over a week past Easter. And I know I got this like in early March. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Jackie, for another wonderful package. I know it's going to be amazing, and I haven't even opened it yet. Hey, we got a lot of bubble wrap. Thank you also for putting the letter right on top. I agree. <laughs> I know you're up to some tricks sometimes, Jackie. But I like to get to the I like to get to the letter first. Salsa is over here sniffing her package. I think she also was licking the box as it sat here in the corner um, since I received it. <laughs> Great start. I didn't get you a puppy. Well, this card was donated to the Humane Society on your behalf. Happy Easter, Taco Stack. Hope is all is well with you and your family. Make sure to check inside each egg. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not like trash picking, haha. <laughs> also, turn Donald on inside his back and press his foot. Brooklyn want to eat him. Do not eat the mints. They may be as old as you. Who knows? Haha. <laughs> Take care. Peace, Jackie. And Jackie, once again, included a wonderful monetary gift. Jackie, like always, you do not have to send any money, but thank you for the wonderful $100 gift, and happy Easter to you as well. I know it's a little bit late. Also, tell Brooklyn happy Easter to her. Right now, it looks like the camera's going in and out of focus. I apologize for that, but thank you for the wonderful pop-up card as always, and thank you for the monetary gift. You do not have to send money. Thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. I got to remember these instructions, too. I feel like, feel like we're up to some games around here, so... We'll put that over there. Now we'll get into this. I'm going to try to maybe... Uh... Oh! Uh-oh. I think the best way to do this would be like... Oh, that's cool. Maybe get this box on the ground because it's taking up some real estate. Just scared salsa. All right, now where the heck was I? Oh, well, I guess we'll work on this guy first. Put, I think that's Daisy, right? Is that Daisy? It might be Daisy. It's kind of funny you sent this. <laughs> I have a very large, I think it's a, a larger one. I don't know if it's Marc Messier. Wow, this is uh, that logoing on the NHLPA, Players Association logo. I don't know if they changed it, but it just has a very like 2000s vibe on it. And whenever I see it, I just remember being a kid. So also is now chewing on the tape on the cardboard box. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think that's very healthy for dogs. But thank you for the wonderful Marc Messier headliners. A little New York Rangers toy. Greatly appreciate that. That's very cool. Uh, so yeah, I found, I think, a larger one the other month or something. Uh-oh, it says do not eat. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we will try it. No. Yo, 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 yo. Stop, you can't chew on the tape. Donald Duck. Oh, that's even really cool. So I won't, I won't actually eat it, but they are uh, Donald Duck and his pals peppermints. Fresh, feisty flavor. They look like they're identical, so I'll show this one. They're uh, peppermint mints, but they're in decorations or uh, I should say characters of different Disney people. Very cool. I have no idea on the age on them either. But I will not attempt to eat them, <laughs> even if you say do not eat. All right. You can't. I feel kind of like being a jerk by taking away Salsa's box, but I don't think dogs should be eating cardboard, uh, cardboard or tape. All right. No, maybe this is Donald. Oh, Salsa's getting carried away. Get, oh, jeez. I knew it was going to happen. All right, so what's the instruction here? Also, turn Donald off inside his back. In, oh, inside. Oh, you got to turn him on first. I forgot. Hey, Salsa, pull all right, hold on. Does he walk? Uh-oh, he might need batteries. Maybe I turn them off. Hey, no, it's not a toy salsa. Whoa, yo, salsa, it's not a toy. I think he needs batteries or his batteries died on transit, which could have very well happened or the fact that he's been sitting here for like a couple weeks now, now he's on. No, he's, he's, uh, he needs batteries, I think. Wow, Salsa, you really... This thing is soaked now. All right, well, we'll put... Oh, goodness gracious. We're going to put Donald up here. Donald's staying here, Salsa. Leave Donald alone. He does not want to be played with right now. Donald's chilling. Here, have a tennis ball. Here. See you later. All right. Interesting event there. Then we have a... Oh, buddy. This is going to be a guessing game. <laughs> we have a box of Easter eggs. It's funny, because you're probably like guessing, which one are you going to pick first? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow, that's an old one. That's back when they had the, the cool logo in. New York Rangers, a little coffee mug. I think you used to be able to get these in like those quarter gumball machines. Kind of feel like that, like a little plastic container. That's very cool. Um, and then we also have what looks like a coin here. A limited edition. Oh, wow, it's, a, it's actually a silver coin. So thank you, Jackie, for a wonderful gift there. We have a silver coin, Marc Messier, New York Rangers. It even, it's a limited edition coin. It's marked on the back. That is very cool. Take this tape off for that. And now we'll go into my coin collection or my silver collection of all different like medallions and uh, little bricks and whatnot. Very, very cool. Marc Messier, that's actually a great, uh, although I, like, I showed it like that, you really can't. It just looks like a face. But it's really done. It's really well done. So thank you for the wonderful, I'll put that over here. This egg is now complete. Gotta look through every single one. I, I, this one opened up. Oh. United States Mint 2014 Baseball Hall of Fame Commemorative Coin Program. Oh. That is from what looks like the Hall of Fame. United States of America. It's actually really neat. The way they did it is very, very cool. I don't know if you can really pop this out, though. Oh, uh, yeah, you might be able to. Uh, yeah, there, here you go. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of... I don't want to ruin the, uh, the padding around it. But that is very cool. This is from United States Mint. 
90% silver coin. The mint limit was 400,000 across all options. So there must have been like a little program they used to do where um, you probably can get different logos put on it, which I tried. I can't really show you because you can't really see it, but it's like a baseball. And the way they printed this or the way the case is, it actually is rounded off like a baseball. That's very interesting. So that's very, very cool. Thank you for the wonderful coin. How did I do this? Oh, this I think went like that. What's in there? This is a little Mike Piazza bobblehead. It kind of looks like the headliner thing. Like the headliner toy. Holy coins. Jack, you don't, have to, you don't have to send me all these coins. I feel like I have every possible coin now. It's, it's amazing. Uh, but thank you for another wonderful coin. Here we have a New York Ranger Stanley Cup. Very cool. That's awesome. That's a very neat looking coin as well. Stanley Cup, as well as a Mike Piazza coin. For some reason, I feel like my aunt sent me uh, the same exact one, but had Sammy Sosa on it. When I was a kid, I feel like whenever these coins even came out, she maybe bought me it. She was a huge Chicago Cubs fan. And we have a Mike Piazza silver coin. That is awesome as well. The dog has appeared back. So thank you for the wonderful coins. Make sure I go through every, uh, every egg. It's like Easter hunting. No. Oh. Is there a coin in every, every cup? There might be. Here we have a $2 Elizabeth II. Oh, that's awesome. On the back, it's a, it's a Donald Duck coin. 85 years, Donald Duck, Troy Silver. That's awesome. And on the front, it's Elizabeth II. I don't know how the relation is between Elizabeth II and Donald Duck, so I might have to get my history a little bit shaped or in, in uh, correct order. It's also now licking. Hey, hey, hey. So thank you for the wonderful coin. We also have two McDonald's toys, Donald Duck, as well as a uh, Kellogg's Donald Duck. Lose them. And then we're stuck with two last eggs. Which one? I have a feeling I know what this is. That's exactly what I knew it was. <laughs> and another coin. Holy coin collection. Brian Leach. So now we have the Mark Messi and we have a Brian Leach. Commemorative coin as well. New York Rangers has the logo going on the back and then has his face on the front. Also a silver coin. Thank you again for another wonderful coin. I'm going to have quite the coin collection as well as a restack in orange Tic Tacs. Now I want to know if you guys, oh, this dog. Can't trust the dog around empty boxes. Boxes just get chewed on. Uh, I see what you did there. You put orange Tic Tacs in the orange egg. Sometimes I don't notice these things until after I edit the videos and I feel like, uh, feel kind of like, how do you not notice that? But then again, it's, I, I guess I just don't notice it. Um, we have one last here. Hey, there's another coin in there. And a spoon. So we have a coin, which looks like another silver coin. Aquarius, because that's what I am. Um, a $5 coin. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Elizabeth II. I don't know what this Elizabeth II is. It must, I must be completely missing something, unless that's like the year of 2000, this says 2021, so maybe it's the year of Elizabeth II. But it's an Aquarius silver coin. Jackie, thank you for all these silver coins. Um, that is awesome. I have such a collection now of just proof set coins and different varieties of silver coins. So thank you for all the wonderful coins. And then we have a silver spoon here, I think, for January. Aquarius. And it is silver. <laughs> so you sent me quite the collection of silver. Thank you for the wonderful uh, horoscope. I guess you'd call it that. Um, what's the other? It's not horoscope. It's uh, duh, geez. 
it's not sign it there's another word um, but this is also another wonderful silver relay item so thank you for the wonderful silver spoon Jackie greatly appreciate that Jackie you've always sent me some really wonderful things in the past thank you for the awesome coin collection as well as a replenish of snacks um, and thank you for that also you do not have to send any money thank you for the wonderful monetary gift though I greatly appreciate it hopefully everything is well with you and uh, thank you for all the Rangers memorabilia hopefully this will be their year greatly appreciate it thanks again for another wonderful mail day uh, gift and thanks again greatly appreciate it all right everyone thank you again for another wonderful mail day video a wonderful mail day surprise as always if anyone out there wants to send a sort of package or a gift or whatever it might be my p.o box information is in the description below uh, it doesn't have to be a gift it can be a letter or a postcard or whatever it might be but thanks again for another wonderful mail day video enjoy the rest of your week if you guys want to see more mail day videos chart runs whatever it is make sure to subscribe down below and of course i'll catch you guys next time thanks for all the wonderful gifts until next time have a great day keep living a dream peace